sa Aryong Beach. So nice. Tingnan nyo, di ba mukha siyang hotdog? Ang cute-cute ng li ito. Hi! Mukira ka? Ha? No. Mukira? Nabot mo ka dito. Nabot mo ka dito. Ha? Ako mo kayo kagliog dong? Wala nga siyang liig eh. Ano liog? Liog. Anong liog? Liig. Wala nga siyang liig eh. O pagka, di ba, ulo. Tapos katawan agad. Wala ka liog dong. Pinuangan mo ka doon eh. Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel, Journey with Team B. I am Jerna and this is my husband. What's your name? Dave. Today is our first anniversary as boyfriend-girlfriend. But we got married last July 8, 2020. Last month. Last month. So for today's video, we will talk about the things that we have learned or the things that the Lord taught us through our relationship for one year. Okay, so yung isa dito naglalap talk and he will just answer kung ano yung tatanong sa akin. So ikaw, Dad, awkward pa lang dito. Ano yung tatlong bagay na pinaka natutunan niyo so far? Ano tayo salitan? Ikaw, ako, tapos... Uh, or greatest lesson ko na na learn uh, in the context of relation understanding okay kasi yung word na understanding kasi uh, very difficult especially kung uh, mahirap intindihin yung partner iba iba yung ano nyo iba iba yung uh, upbringing nyo sa Sa environment, iba-iba yung culture, iba-iba yung set of standard, mindset, mga hugo, prinsipyo, prinsipyo. Kasi yung hila, for example, ah, simple na bagay lang, example, bagay na preferred mo nyo na lugar. Okay? For example, preferred ko na lugar is tahimik. Pero preferred niya na lugar is yung maraming tao. Maraming uh, nice. Siguro yung ayan, Mga maiingay na places One thing na kailangan mag-intervene dyan Is yung understanding Ay, Hindi pwede kong i-impose yung Gusto ko Preferred place ko Ay, Hindi ko pwede i-impose niya Ay, Hindi niya pwede i-impose yung Gustong place niya So Magkikita ka sa middle Kailangan intindihin mo yung ko, iniintindi ko yung background niya, iniintindi ko yung uh, mga gusto niya. The, yeah, the, the principle that holds everything. City girl lang. So, sanay ako sa maingay na play. Very people person. And then si Dave, people person din naman siya. Kaya niyong makipag-drive, makipag- uh, biruan sa mga tao. Pero, he prefers tahimik na lugar, like where we are. Ako naman, I came from different relationships before and na-realize ko later on na nag-Bible school ako na ang weakness ko talaga is love. Like, I'm, I'm longing for love and I always thought na makukuha ko yung love na yun sa relationship. So, natutunan ko na, na your partner will never fulfill you. It is only the love of the Lord that will fill all the gaps all the, alam mo yung mga butas sa heart mo. So, yun, it will always go back to your relationship 
to the Lord na do not depend your happiness and your yung yung kabuuhan mo bilang isang tao sa partner mo kasi never ka talaga mafulfill noon all always based it with the Lord so if you are married or you're in a relationship or if you are single regardless kung anong estado mo sa life the love that we all need to only come from the Lord you know first Okay, next. Second, aside from understanding. The second thing that I learned from God is ano talaga? Ano basic lang, basic lang naman talaga yung mga natutunan ko sa life. Basic sa pero I think the the, the most important things na kailangan talaga malaman. Una yung understanding. Second is when you have understanding talaga, you will learn how to prolong your patience. Yun. Kasi, uh, yan ang... Bakit nakaubos pa ako ng pasensya? I'm, actually, I'm running out of patience. <laughs> I, I, you know, ano, talaga, pinaka-importante pasensya. Hindi mo, yung pasensya na yan, hindi mo makukuha lang by, ano eh, by just trading books hindi mo yan makukuha by just ano eh, galing sa ibang tao na sabi na, ay, kailangan mo yung pasensyoso, kailangan mo maging uh, ano talaga, prolong mo yung ano mo, yung, yung pasensya mo. Hindi, kailangan mo ma-experience talaga yung ano, yung yung, yung situation, uh, situation para ma-develop yung pasensya mo. And I learned it from, ano, from my experiences. Sa kanya. Parang sobrang serious. Sa kanya. Sa kanya na. Experience ko sa relationship. Grabe naman, parang nakakaubos naman talaga ako ng pasensya. Okay. Oh, ganun. So, pasensya. Kasi, ang hirap eh. Diba? Alam mo. Ano pa ka mahirap naman? Parang pinapirapan ko naman. Hindi, ang hirap kung wala kang pasensya. That's the, the, the basic thing. Kung wala kang pasensya talaga, explode lahat. Collapse talaga lahat yung ano yung mga agreement nyo, yung plan nyo, yung mga decision nyo, lahat collapse talaga yan eh, pag hindi na prolong talaga yung pasensya. So, yun. Thank you po. Ako naman ang second ka is, so, yun, respect like your partner. It's really important. Lalo sa mga lalaki na nabasa ko nga sa book, more than love, they long for respect. Tama na. Respect. Kasi maisip ko na sasabihin, sasabihin ko sa kanya without even thinking about it, kahit makakasakit sa kanya, and mali yun. And as a woman, yeah, we really have to respect our partners. Respect by listening kung ano yung opinion nila, and submitting, and submission. Ano yun, no? Connected sila ang respect and submission. When you respect your husband or your partner, you will submit to him. Lalo na kung alam mo na yun ang will ni Lord na gawin ninyo. We're not perfect. We're really far from being perfect. And we're flawsome. We have a lot of struggles in life. But, yeah, regardless kung anong weakness ng partner mo, though sobrang hirap nito, kung anong kahinaan ng partner mo, always, always try to respect your partner. Ayun ang tinuro sa akin. And it's a struggle. <laughs> know your partner deeply. Para bang you are saying na be an expert of your partner. Every day you study. Every day you learn about your partner. Every day you know something about your partner. Alamin mo, maging ano ka, maging gawin mong lifetime thesis mo. Or <laughs> lifetime dissertation mo. Like lifetime. thesis, ibig sabihin lifetime mo rin siyang i-denefend. Yeah, lifetime mo siyang pag-aaralan. Lifetime mo siyang... Uh, kasi... Sa survey. No, the more you know your partner talaga, dun lalabas yung, ano, yung love. The more you know your partner, the more na mas maiintindihan mo. Mag-aada ko ng one. Communication. Mm -hmm. You communicate, 
communicate mo yung nararamdaman mo, be open. Communicate mo yung ano yung gusto mo. I-communicate. Pag-usapan nyo yung mga plano nyo. Pag-usapan nyo yung mga ayaw nyo gawin. Yung hindi nyo gusto. Pag-usapan nyo yung mga... Uh, Papabother sa inyo. Mga ganun. So lahat. You communicate, you talk, before you sleep, you, you, ano, you evaluate the day, you evaluate what had happened sa mga in the past, and communicate your thoughts, your, your lessons, your learning. Communicate ko kanina, hindi mo yun. Ganon. So you communicate, and then communicate also forgiveness. Okay. Sure. Ay, ano, don't just communicate na what you're struggling with sa partner, yeah. but communicate na you've forgiven uh, the person. Kasi, uh, forgiveness, hindi lang yan. Hindi yan pwede i-keep lang sa heart na. Okay, nga. Okay, nakikinig ako sa'yo din. Then, deep inside my heart, I forgive you. That's not enough. I-assure mo yung partner mo na, I forgive you. Do you communicate? Okay, important thing. Ako naman, ang last ko is surround yourself with friends, with godly friends that will give you godly advices. We are really grateful you, babe, kasi nga, uh, kahit wala kami ngayon sa Ebenezer, but we have a lot of mentors, hello po sa inyo, <laughs> mentors from Ebenezer, sa so, meron din siyang mentors, na when we have struggle, for the last night, I open up to my friends, my godly friends. I, you choose the people na pakikinggan mo about your relationship. Be very careful kasi hindi lahat ng naririnig natin sa mga kaibigan natin. We have to follow everything, right? Kasi nga, sila din may ibang klase yung relationship nyo, may ibang klase din yung relationship na meron kami. So yun, grateful kami kasi may mga taong gumagabay sa amin who is mature in faith, in marriage, in rich. So we are documenting this para makita namin yung growth namin sa mga susunod na taon. But right wait. Mag-guide mm-hmm. ako. Okay? This is very important. Be rational. Don't <laughs> lean more on emotions. Kasi sometimes our hearts, not sometimes, our hearts, yes. Uh, is it full talaga? So, huwag magbabay sa emotion. Kung may problema, be rational. Kung may mga plano... Parang dapat ako yung nagsasabi niyo. Hindi, <laughs> sa akin yan. I mean, I, I, I learned it. Okay? Sa akin yan, I learned it. That's it for this video. Sa mga anak namin na mapapanood to in the future, this is how we started and the things that the Lord taught us in our first year relationship. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya again.